welcome to today's video which is how to plan your Disney Park outfits. Now I'm going to be mainly talking about um, Florida because a lot of the stuff will be about hot, we hot weather but a lot of this will also apply to if you go to Disneyland Paris or anywhere else I guess. Um, it's just that my experiences of Disneyland Paris and Disney World have been totally different in terms of outfit planning because of weather because I went in winter and it was freezing in Disneyland Paris and I went in summer um, for Florida and it was boiling so yeah. There's a few different ways that I start planning my Disney outfits um, and there's a few different things to consider so I'm just going to go through those one by one. So the first thing is comfort. Um, park days are long, they're strenuous, you're going to do a lot of walking, a lot of on and off of rides, a lot of that kind of thing, You just, and you want to be comfortable ultimately. It's a long day if you're there from open to close. Um, so stuff to consider is like, in Florida I would suggest a lot of the time shorts over dresses, like rather choose, choose um, better to choose shorts than skirts and dresses, unless you can wear little shorts underneath skirts and dresses like especially those anti-chafing shorts because I'm saying that because of the heat and the chafing and how much walking you'll do like even when I went when I was a size 8 um I still chafed because the amount of walking and um you know especially if you go on water rides and stuff like that it's just better I think to have that little bit of material in that place to keep you more comfortable but also what materials you want to wear for comfort so stuff that's light and airy but not that like cheap sweaty fabric um, you want stuff that you know you're going to be comfortable in for a long amount of time next way you can plan outfits is um, based around ears if you're an ears or hats wearer when you go to the parks um, which I am hugely um, I've done a lot of outfit planning throughout my time over and around ears so um, for instance I knew I wanted to get this as my like main new pair of ears uh, when I went to Florida the last time so I had this little pink um, coordinate set that was a top and shorts that was baby pink because I'd seen these online I knew I wanted to get them and I was like as soon as I get them that would be the perfect outfit obviously if you're hoping on ones to buy maybe planning outfits around those ones that you don't have yet is maybe a little bit risky but um, I did that and um, yeah I love it and like this time I know for sure I want to get the purple potion ears and I already have a pair of Buzz Lightyear shoes and a Buzz Lightyear backpack I really want to wear and I was like oh my god the purple is perfect because those that's like within his colours. Um, so ears is another way, another thing is I knew I wanted to get a pair of leopard print ears because I love leopard print when I went to Animal Kingdom last time so I wore a leopard print um, play suit and I paired them together so ears is a way to plan outfits around if you're like a proper <laughs> Disney geek I guess um, and you love the ears like I do. You can take like the colour of the ears, the theme of the ears because now they do ride, uh, now they've got um, ears based on rides and stuff and on different characters obviously that then can influence your outfit choices. What parks you're going to can be a great way to plan your outfits as well so for me for Magic Kingdom I always go super girly. Um, I, I am super girly obviously um, but I think that that's a really princessy park obviously with the castle I know I want pictures of the castle um, and like the whole fantasy land section it's just very very um, girly and, and and fantasy and so I like to be really girly and when I go to Hollywood Studios I like to wear really bright bold stuff or black like cooler stuff like I have a grey top that says Team Mickey in black and I wore that with my classic black ears and black and white shorts um, just like the vibe of the park and the colours that are in the park and what rides to plan your Disney outfits is around characters. Who's your favourite character? What are the colours of that character? Do you want to go full Disney bounding where you kind of look like the character because you've like del deliberately, um, if you don't know what Disney bounding is, it's like dressing up as a character without going in a full like Pooh Bear costume. Um, instead you'd go in the character's colours. So Pooh Bear would be yellow and red um, or Buzz would be green and silver and purple. Um, so you can plan around your favourite characters. Um, Sully is purple and um, blue. So that's a great way to think of like cute ways to dress for Disney. Like oh I love this character maybe I should think about what his colours are and what I have in my wardrobe that's those colours and I could go sort of not 
as the character, but inspired by the character. Next I would think about items that you can wear more than once. So I am just weird like this. Uh, when I go on a holiday, a play suit or a statement dress that I have, I probably wouldn't wear twice on the holiday that's just me and i know that's that's probably stupid and um obviously i'm not telling anyone to do that but stuff like a pair of shorts or um stuff that's like more plain or like a skirt or something i would wear more than once and that's a great way to save room in your packing but also um yeah if you've got a cute pair of shorts and you're like oh i could wear that top with it and then i could wear that top with it um and they would look like two completely different outfits that's a great way. So uh, go through your um, clothes and see what items you would love to wear more than once on the trip because that's just great for so many different reasons. <laughs> what I do is I go through and look what I already have that I definitely know I want to take. So for instance, I've got those light up Buzz Lightyear trainers that I, as soon as I got them, knew I was taking them to Florida with me. So that's what then made me go, oh my God, and the purple ears that I want and then try and construct an outfit from there. I have a new, I'm looking at it now, Ursula handbag that's purple. So um, I'll wear that with those purple ears and I'm gonna construct an outfit around that. Um, so just stuff that I know that I'm definitely gonna take with me that I already have um, that I can make outfits around and that's how I kind of get started. So you wanna think about comfort, stuff you can wear more than once, colors of your favorite characters, uh, themes and parks, like th themes of the parks, vibe of the park. Um, I find Epcot really relaxed and less Disney-fied, so I often wear a less Disney outfit and something a bit more grown up. And um, I often like to wear florals there because there's a lot of green and the lake and stuff. So um, that's a way that I can plan outfits as well. Um, around characters, rides, um, even like people plan outfits around their favourite Disney treats and food, that's another way you can do it. I hope this video is helpful. I do have Florida lookbooks from the last time I went, so go and check them out. I'll try and figure out how to link them in this video so that you can um, find them easily. Um, but yeah, I wore lots of different outfits and you can see kind of the ways that I changed it up. And thank you to the people that asked me, there was actually two different people that asked me to make this video and said, you know, I just feel stuck going, oh, wear uh, denim shorts and a t-shirt and that's kind of I'm kind of bored of it what can I wear for the rest of the time um yeah think about play suits jumpsuits dresses skirts and skirts of different lengths midi skirts short skirts full length skirts shorts collot shorts full length collots um there's loads of different options vest tops t-shirts t-shirt dresses um there's loads of different options so go and check out my lookbooks i hope this has helped that's kind of the things that i plan my outfits around and um i'm gonna do another video of stuff that i have that i'm definitely taking to florida with me so i'll go in more depth about what i'm planning for those items in that video but stuff like what I mentioned with the Ursula bag and the Buzz shoes I've got a lot of stuff that I'm definitely taking with me so I'm gonna do a video on that so keep your eyes peeled for that and like this video if you enjoyed it or if you found it helpful and please do subscribe I've got lots of Disney content coming your way really really soon and I'd love to have you I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video bye